Welcome back, guys. Today we'll be toying around with the F-15's energy retention by reducing its fuel to around roughly eight minutes, and we'll be doing some sim dog fights and some RB dog fight. But before we do that, I want to show you this quick little short of the energy retention of the F-15 on eight minutes. Check this out. You can see there's an F-16 on our six o'clock right now, and he's starting to get lead, and I start to realize this, but I'm like, hey, I'm at eight minutes of fuel. I can now rate this guy very easily. Now we all know the F-16 is a rate fighting king. This thing could go around circles quite well, especially around 350 knots to 400 knots. But uh, I have eight minutes of fuel, so therefore I'm better. Now the F-15 basically just turns into a UFO at this fuel load. Of course, if you stay in this rate fight too long, we will run out of fuel, but luckily I'm able to go around the circle a lot quicker. He reverses the turn. I get a lock and launch an AAM-4. So you can see the F-15C's energy retention is pretty darn good. So what we're going to do is run a couple dog fights. We'll be doing guns only fights and Fox 2 fights as well in RB and Sim. I hope you guys enjoy. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're just going to show some of the capabilities of the F-15 as you've seen in the clip in the beginning. This thing has insane energy on a low fuel load, um, as do most jets, but specifically the F-15 because it already has a good thrust to weight to begin with. But uh, we don't want to bleed too much speed here, because we've already pretty much pulled into a circle. So we're going to keep this up here. We'll go take off flaps. Should go landing flaps. Should help us a little bit. We'll turn off the burner here. Pull into that circle a little better. Pull the nose up. Now, if he had an R73, he would be a threat still, but since he doesn't, we can just pretty much exit the fight after that. We're going to try that again. Now, in RB, it's a little harder to go for rate fights just because you're constantly pulling full deflection. Uh, if you're using shift or control to pitch, or even with the mouse, it's kind of hard to control your pitch. Um, that's why it's a little better to do it in sim, but um, you can still use energy to your advantage like if, for example if you're doing like spiral climbs that sort of thing uh, The Eagle should have a pretty good time although the flanker can pull high AOA, so you have to be careful So I'm gonna try to climb higher than him and I just want to try to stay higher than him the entire fight because we do have more energy in general Get the seat pipper on here All right, so he's gonna pull into us here. Look at that. He's pulling all that AOA, which means he bled a lot of speed. So we're gonna start to climb here. I'm gonna try to stay above his nose. He might get shots here. Let's keep pulling up. And there's his speed. So now we're back on his six. If we don't screw up our shots, we should be okay. But we'll see. All right, let's dive on him here. Now we don't want to go too fast because we don't want to overshoot him. So we're gonna pop the air brakes here. Just follow him into this. We have a lot of ammo in this thing, luckily. So you can kind of just spray the trigger and hope you hit something. There we go. And we're going to pitch the nose up. Alright, now we're going to try with Fox 2. So again, the R73, well, maybe I haven't saved this yet. Later in the video, I do. Anyway, the R73 does kind of negate your energy management or your energy advantage in the F-15 just because well, you can um, shoot them at gnarly angles. But uh, luckily we were able to get guns. He still has Fox 2s, so we need to be careful. I want to turn the engine off here. Let's pull above that nose, make sure he can't get an HMS shot. And we're just going to confirm the kill here. 
make sure he is dead. Oh, that actually went for flare. Oh, no, that hit. That's the thing about the flanker. It, when you kill it, it's really not dead till the pilot's dead. It can still kill you. Okay, we're going to try that again. We do need to be careful of those R73s. They are genuinely horrifying. Uh, but we're going to try to go for a one circle. Kasui merged lower than him, so we should be able to turn into a circle a little easier. Okay, we got a hit on him. Like a spark, I think. Alright, let's turn off the burner here. So we can pull the nose down. We're going to initiate the burner, get some speed. Oh, it's still it! I mean, that's pretty good. I don't know where that thing went. Launch it at those angles and theoretically get a kill. So, yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> so we're going to switch to sim now. Well, we don't have a payload at all. All right, let's see. So he's going to try and turn this into a one circle here. Because now we're going nose to nose. But that's fine. We're going to just keep pulling here. You he might get a solution a little bit, but it's fine. And plus, we have a little bit of energy to burn here. We want to be going like 400 knots. Uh, that's pretty optimal in the Eagle. But you can see we're already starting to raid around. Fairly easy. Okay, so it's going to be another nose to nose. I'm not going to go for that. Had to jank there a little bit. And he's getting us slow. Which is not good for us. Gonna use that energy retention. We're gonna stick with it. And let's switch to a... Switch the turn there. pretty good okay let's see let's pipper on here come on bird no sauce I kind of goof that up I'm not gonna lie but you can see if we're still can see the energy this thing still has it is pretty darn good there we go I don't know the the trait usually I use all right we're gonna extend out a little bit he's going for the vertical which is smart in his case He's playing with his energy and stuff, so we're going to get low. Going to hold this. Okay, he's right on us. And now we're going to go into a rate fight here. Going a little too fast. Seems he might have broke off here. Oh yeah, he went up. Let's lose some speed here. And he's cutting vertical, which is that's very smart, at least in the uh, SU-27. Because when you get into a rate fight, that is your best tactic to just... Oh, did he rip? Huh. Okay. <laughs> well, that works. We see how, how this go. We're going to extend here. And we'll just pre-flare when he does get uh, nose on. Cool thing about the AIM-9Ms is you can't really see them that well. So... Why is he flaring? What is this jet? I'm confused. 
I don't know what he's doing there. All right, it's full pull here. We have speed to burn. Now we're in a traditional rate fight. This is good for us. We just need to manage our speed. Now, I'm not a great rate fighter. Far from it. Especially when people know how to counter it. Oh my, that was close. I should have been pre-flaring. But, uh... The Eagle does let you, uh... It gives you a chance to make mistakes. A lot more than other jets, in my opinion. Okay, so he's going for the vertical here. See if that pays off. He had to bleed a decent amount of speed. That's a missile. I think that might hit. Yep, there it is. Because we're going to extend from him here. Go for the two circle. And yes, we're going extremely fast in the merge. I just want to get distance from him. So now we're going to pull in this circle here. And we're going to go for a second merge. gonna keep this so he's bled a lot of speed there which is good for us let's keep pulling here Whoa, that was a close one. Oh, okay, that one hit. <laughs> Try to flare, but I do think the R-73 will kill us. But uh, especially since we're at such a close range, the F-15's a fairly hot jet. But we do get HMS, which is nice. There's already one of those. So the thing about the R-73 is it kind of forces the Eagle to go into a close range dogfight with the flanker. Just because, you know, I can't just keep raiding um, if he's got those R-73s. Oh my gosh. Those were close. Gonna keep janking here. Oh, there's one. Yeah, they're they're a lot more dangerous. Hundred percent. 